Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Coach Mike here. I have a special guest for you today. My good friend, Frank Rich, the founder and CEO of Mastetic Muscle. As you can see, Frank is a lot bigger and more muscular than me, all right? Look at his arms, all right? So he's gonna share with us a couple of tips how he built these monstrous arms that I actually really need. So yeah, Frank, take it away. Awesome, thanks Mike. Yeah guys, over the past few years, I've become known as the arm guy. I've helped hundreds, if not thousand men across the world build big, strong, ripped vascular arms. So I wanna give you three tips today that can immediately implement into your training right now that's gonna guarantee that you improve your ability to train your arms successfully and help you build those big, strong, ripped vascular biceps. Now tip number one is you have to train isolation exercises. Now I know this may go against a lot of what you're hearing out in the muscle building world these days that you only need to train compound lifts to build your ideal physique, but that's false. If you wanna build a nice big ripped set of vascular biceps and or triceps, you need to train them through isolation exercises. What ends up happening in a compound movement is our biceps and or triceps are the secondary mover of that exercise, meaning that the back and or chest is gonna be responsible for moving the majority of the weight. And the biceps are only gonna kick in as needed. So you're not fully creating the tension, creating the load, or getting those muscle fibers as short and as contracted as possible. So tip number one, if you want to build bigger, stronger, more ripped vascular arms, is you have to train your biceps and triceps through isolation exercises. Now the second tip to improve your biceps training is to train it through shoulder flexion. Here's what I mean. So the bicep is responsible for two primary functions. The first one being elbow flexion, and the second one is shoulder extension. So, so the long head or, or one of your bicep heads actually attaches to the front delt and, there's, and it's responsible for raising your shoulder, not pressing your shoulder up in a shoulder press, but elevating it. So one way you can train it is by doing a dumbbell curl and then a slight shoulder extension at the top. So curl to where it's fully shortened, then push up, slowly just lifting that front delt a little bit. That's one way you can train through shoulder flexion. The other, which is preferably my, my more favorite way to do it, is gonna be on a cable. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your, el your, your shoulder elevated at this point. So I'm already extended, I'm already putting my bicep in a disadvantaged position to train this. So I'm gonna squeeze here, then I'm gonna think about getting that hand behind my head. Now at this point, that bicep is as shortened, as contracted as it's going to be. With only, I think, 13 pounds, I can feel that tension super, super tight, super, super contracted. That's gonna be where you're gonna get your bicep at its most shortened, most contracted position, which is an area you need to get it to if you're gonna build your greatest biceps. So second tip to build bigger, strong, stronger, more ripped vascular biceps is to train it through shoulder flexion. Now the third tip is to train your arms two days in a row. I created a training methodology known as neuromuscular frequency training, which is ideally how you would want to train your arms two days in a row. Because that second workout needs to be very intelligent in how it's programmed. You can't just come in the gym on Monday, blast your biceps with 30 sets, then come in on Tuesday and do the exact same workout. You're setting yourself up for failure, for overreaching, for overtraining, and for under recovery. Now, if you are gonna train your arms two days in a row in an intelligent way, you're gonna get three advantages from doing it. First, you're gonna increase your protein synthesis. We know through research that the protein synthesis response is at its highest point 24 to 48 hours post-training. So, if within that first 24 hours of training our biceps, we can train them again, we actually extend that protein synthesis response out for an additional 24 to 48 hours. So typically, where you're only building muscle for a day to two days post-training, you're actually adding a third or fourth day of that anabolic response. The second advantage you get from training them two days in a row is your increased muscular responsiveness. Think about a time in your life when you've trained a muscle, then that next day, you're just so much more aware of it. Maybe you go to reach something, maybe you go to get up after training legs, and you just feel those muscles a little bit better than you did the day before because of maybe the soreness, the tightness, whatever you've done to create that responsiveness. Now, if you were to go in the gym and train that same day, you're, you're, you're more aware of that muscle. So you're just gonna be able to get a better response to it. And then the third thing is your increased mind to muscle connection. We know through hypertrophy that our greatest ability to build muscle is by creating tension. And in order to create that tension, we need that neuromuscular connectivity response through the mind to muscle connection. So by training it that second day in a row, you're improving your ability to put your mind 
inside your muscle, which ties into that responsive feedback that we got from the second thing. So, three tips. Train isolation exercises, train your bicep through shoulder flexion, and train both your biceps and your triceps two days in a row. Frank Rich from Mass Athletic Muscle, helping you guys, helping Mike build big, strong, ripped, vascular arms. We'll talk to you next time. That was great, man. Thank you, awesome. bro. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs>